Hi, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to talk about calculating code execution time. So up top here, I'm going to declare a stopwatch, which is under the system diagnostics namespace. So private stopwatch. Uh, okay, I'm going to initialize it. and I'm going to create a form load event handler and then we're going to start the stopwatch okay and I'm going to put a thread in there, a thread sleep Threading. thread sleep let's do one second and then actually We'll put some more code in here. Um, anywhere in between stopwatch start and stopwatch stop, you want to put your code. Alright, so we're going to stop the stopwatch. And then we're going to print the output to the form1 text property. So this dot text is equal to or plus equal to now equal to stopwatch dot all right so uh you can get just the milliseconds or you can go to elapsed and get uh things like seconds, days, hours, milliseconds, but really you want to just uh use the elapsed property that would do the trick. So I'm going to convert this to string. This is uh, how you get the most accurate reading of your code is just use the elapsed. So up top here's my code execution time which is quite bizarre because you've got the um, hours, minutes, seconds and then um, fractions of a second. And I got code execution below one second even though I threaded one second um yeah so that's how you do it and uh, to reset the stopwatch to zero just go to the object and then reset 